Hey, good morning. I hope you're right. I hope you've been good and I hope you've been productive. I don't know if anyone else has asked you that today. How to fix your mental health. The thing is, I think mental health is probably one of the most important things. And I think a lot of people don't really know about it. And if you do, it's only because you know that you have a terrible mental health. When I actually started looking into it, when I first got on self-improvement two years ago, I realized how bad my mental health was. I'm going to go through a few things, a few exact things that I did over the course of two years that helped me improve my mental health a huge amount. I still have a long way to go, but I am so much more happier than I was two years ago when I was in college. And you need all of these, so stick to the end of the video. My name is Wada, and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. So I think the first things that I did was I started focusing on the good habits, and that was, for me, I went to the gym three times a week, around two, hour, two hours each time I went. I only went three times a week though, so that's not a lot, but it's much more than I did ever before when I was first starting out, and I was still making huge progress both physically and mentally by going to the gym. I became a lot more confident in myself. Another thing that I did, which what actually took me a little longer to start doing was I spent at least 30 minutes a day outside in nature, like I am now. Look, there's even a sakura tree behind me, which is so pretty. I spent a minimal of 30 minutes a day just out in nature, not just walking around doing nothing, being a weirdo just doing nothing. I actually went out and interacted with almost everything in nature. Like, there's been so many times where I've gone to like the woods to like record this, and then I found this place here, and just over there, like, literally quite a far away, uh, I'll show at the end of the video, like, I just climbed this giant tree. I interact with almost everything where I'm walking. I find that stick that looks like a gun. I start playing around with it. Almost like as if I was a child again, but guess what? I hadn't felt this good in a while. That first time when I went out to the woods and I just started climbing trees, I felt so good. I hadn't felt that good in a very, very long time. I remember because I sent a spam of, like, Snapchats, like, when I, I, I don't really use it anymore, but, like, I sent a spam of snaps to a friend who was, who was saying, I feel so, like, positive right now. I remember, and, yeah, just literally, that's not a lot. 30 minutes out of your day just to go out into nature, just go on a walk, listen to that podcast you wanted to, something that you're genuinely interested in, and go interact with everything on that walk. Almost as if you're like a kid again. Now, if we get to like the more sort of like nitty gritty stuff, I stopped eating processed foods. This also took me a long time to get around because I I had a big addiction to like junk food and I found it very hard to stop eating snacks whilst I was binge watching something. I, I found that really, really hard. So eating non-processed foods, which is basically cooking for yourself, just buying like single ingredient stuff, carrots, chicken, potatoes. None of that has like an ingredients list because it's just a potato. You can't really put an ingredients list on it. All that, all of, I just cooked for myself. I mean, my diet is kind of very egg heavy. I love eggs. So I, all I did was just eat non-processed foods. I cooked for myself and I absolutely love it. The benefits from eating non-processed foods is amazing. What your body eats, it's basically you are what you eat. If you're eating a bunch of like pizza, junk food, sloppy stuff, you're gonna feel sloppy. You're not gonna feel energetic. But if you're eating healthy meals that aren't like super, super healthy like salads, it's just a balanced diet which isn't processed and you cooked yourself, obviously you're gonna be way more energetic and way more, have way more energy for your day because you've actually eaten a proper meal that your body needs. The last two things is meditation, and gratitude journaling. I kind of put these together because I do them both at the exact same time. I do it in the morning where like I kind of first thing I do is like I sit on my bed, I meditate for about 10 minutes and then I gratitude journal which is I write 10 things I'm grateful for. Like today I wrote down I'm grateful for my mic. I'm grateful for the friends I have. Uh, I also just gave him like a brand new mic as well with well, my old mic so it's not really that brand new. I think this is probably one of the best like mental things like doing it meditation and gratitude journaling first thing in the morning is amazing because one not only does it actually wake you up because you're doing something within the first 10 minutes of your day you're doing something positive productive it makes you feel like you have a positive productive morning and then you go throughout your whole day having a positive productive day look a lot of us have quite 
a negative set style of thinking, and we've had this for quite a while. So this isn't gonna, you aren't gonna cure your mental health within a night. Do all this, it's not gonna fix tomorrow morning. But I give it two weeks. If you can actually stay consistent and do all of this for two weeks, go to the gym for three times a week, spend at least 30 minutes a day in nature, cook your own foods that aren't processed, and meditate and gratitude journal, that's just five things. If you can do this for two weeks consistently, I guarantee you will start to feel progress on you actually fixing your mental health. If you're not subscribed to me, there's a chance that you'll never find this channel again. But if you do after this, or you already are, another video will pop up in the corner. And if this video helped you out, you should 100% click on this because this could also help you out. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Self-improvement, guys. I'm going to do it to the secretary. Mwah! That was really loud.